Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> so we are on the ferry on the way to Cote Town. I haven't got much else to say. Um, and we had to walk and Lily's neck's hurting. I'm wearing a long skirt and a jumper and I was just sweating, but it's all right. We'll, it's only a two hour ferry, this one. So yeah. We're in Kotao. I, will, I literally fell asleep, woke up in Kotao. I've read half a book. <laughs> um, and now we're going to, is it Chaco Shack? Um, and I wish I was these girls in the back, but we're not, we're the ones in the front, so it's okay. Yeah, so anyway, we're going to our hostel now, we're going to have a shower. And then we'll walk around, probably everything's walking distance. Yeah. So... Probably we'll have to get loads of taxis here. No, we'll only just have to get a taxi, I think, from our, from our pier. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> the bathroom again we've got another shower titch just look how tiny that area is yeah it's the worst one we've had really um and then the mirror and then we've actually got sleep liners out not because we don't think it's clean it's just because they've given us um fluffy blankets and in this weather condition it's not really the one so yeah no neither we're kind of struggling the sleeping liners, that's how we brought them in situations like this. Um, yeah, we're gonna go in and have a bit of an explore out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi guys. So we are at Anaconda in Cotel. And we've got a pile of mud. And so far, Cotel, we've just not been in the best things. But we went for a massage and everything was fine and then uh, we got ready to go out and that was just a very stressful palaver. So we have come to an arcade and we're going to play air hockey. Hi guys. Hi guys. We are currently at Shark Bay at this resort because it started raining when we were swimming. Yeah, so we have had a swim which is good. We made some friends. We've been sat in this restaurant, they're not saving anything. Till 11. We've been sat here talking to these two guys that we met. Um, and now we've brought our personal taxi drive to come <laughs> Because we can't drive a motorbike. And it's chipping it down. And the only other thing to do is go to like a cafe or a restaurant or something. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And then do our laundry. Yeah. And then um, probably walk around and then probably have to do Muay Thai. Yeah, there's something to do. Yeah. Um, and then chill yeah Woo. Hi. so we have come to train at muay thai today we just walked for about 40 minutes <laughs> we walked up there and walked back and we finally found a place to come train yeah there was one near a um hostel but like it's such a busy area and everyone walks past the stairs so we thought we'd try and find one where it was a bit less like bit. this one's all right it's just on a road yeah but it just was a bit of a walk <laughs> we got to one place and then realized that they didn't have a session on but this one starts in like 15 minutes so we can just wait and then they've got gloves and everything and then we'll have to get wrapped up i'm yeah. so excited but so far it's just me you and two this, guys yeah uh, that's quite good actually yeah and he's he probably should be trained professionally on his own and me and you will probably mess around yeah that's what i mean it'll be all right there Hi guys! So we have a vegetable masa man. Um, and why do you like a masa man, Lily? It's a nice flavour. It's like um, a and peanut. <laughs> it is, it's really nice. One of my favourites. And it's mild. Yeah, it's not as spicy, is it? Nice. Hi guys! <laughs> There's no electricity. And it's choking it down. Certainly, Veronica. Oh, hi! Hi, <laughs> oh, guys. So, we are at the back of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> On the way to our next resort. Leaving the hostel and tried it. We're to the resort. And then it's a nice day today in Kotal. Yeah, it's so. actually not really. So we might be able to go to the beach and um, go into the pool. So yeah, see you when we're there. Checking in. Hi 
looking at the resort. So far, it's quite cute actually. Yeah, it looks fine. There's, there's literally right about the beachfront. So we can just run onto the beach. So this is our second place in Kotal. We've got two single beds, a fan, and the bathroom. Interesting. Very basic. Yeah. But the view's stunning. So So these are the essentials to survive Thailand. We have the off deet spray, a must. This is a spray that all the locals use to get rid of mosquitoes. As you can see, there's none left. It is on orange scent, but again, this is a must. It's the closest thing we've had to body spray. Then if you can't breathe, this is a must. Now, I have three types of anti antibacterial gels and itch relief gels for these bites and I also have a mosquito repellent <laughs> bite so I've been bitten the most out of everybody we have the anti-itch cream we have an antibiotic cream we have an after gel and we have a mosquito after gel this was recommended this one works I'd rate this a good 10 out of 10 this one has helped me stop itching, but it only lasts for like 10 minutes. I'm guessing this is the strongest one because it's the antibacterial cream, and this is shit. See, that really works for me. This, this one. The gels I've got in um, So this worked for Lilla. Yeah. So it works for sand bites. Yeah. Sand bites, mosquitoes, and to get rid of them. So yeah, there's a little tutorial, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. I wonder how many times I've said hi, guys in the past two weeks so whoever watches our vlogs if you can count how many times i've said hey guys i will give you a special shout out and i'll buy you a key ring from thailand <laughs> um do you know what we need to do we need to think of like a name for uh, many subscribers so it's not just guys, hey fans, <laughs> hey, any hey peeps, do you know it's because all of them, <laughs> oh vlogging in public, is... any, basically we've decided that any room that we don't like, we go mental, <laughs> guys we have a brown air, <laughs> Today's been such a good day for food. It's been a good, it's been a good food day. Yeah, like I've on toast and I've had a sandwich, and now we've got. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> so I've been up since five a.m. on this like high journey. <laughs> I'm not high. I just feel like I'm high off life right now. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think the broken sleep. V broke me up, like, oh, come look at this room. I was half asleep. I went next door, looked at the room, I was like, it's the same room. You choose what we're doing. So we've upgraded the room now. But because we went and organised all this because she was awake. I went back to sleep. I woke up, there's a man in the room <laughs> with a ladder and a toolkit. And I was like, all right, let me just get myself dressed. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what's happened was at 5 a.m. this morning a lovely light bulb <laughs> decided to just land on my head. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> and I was just like, you fucking kidding me. Just... She was out for the count. <laughs> and I was like, right, okay, I'll sleep at the other side of the bed. So I moved to the other side of the bed. I was so uncomfortable. I couldn't get in the bed sheets because I felt like I was just, it was disgusting. Um, I did notice when I woke up that there was a pillow at the end, at the end of the bed and the bed sheet wasn't untucked. <laughs> right, so you just laid there with no pillow. So um, I've had approximately like three hours sleep. <laughs> you can't speak. <laughs> I've got a. I'm <laughs> <laughs> all right today. Um, so yeah, anyway, I waited 6 a.m. I rung all my friends because obviously in the UK it's like, what is time is it? It was like 
midnight so everyone was still awake so i rung everyone being like i hope you're all right and everyone was like yeah we're good anyway lily was still asleep at this point so i went downstairs around seven because that's when it said the result opened no one was there then i was like right okay i'll go to 7-eleven got a nice coffee came back lily was still asleep i was like okay try again went downstairs he was like okay i can give you the room next door um for free same shit. it was just awful I was like, okay, so how much will it be to upgrade with aircon and a cleaner room? And he was like, ten pound. I was like, you know what? Fuck it, yeah. yeah. And it was on the bungalow. We hadn't got to do a five-hour hike to get to our room. Yeah, did we even show them them set? Don't think so. That's it, we're over, yeah. Sorry, I didn't finish on my story. But basically, more of the story was a lamp bulb, a light bulb hit on my head, <laughs> hit me on the head, and I've been up since 6 a.m. And now we're here. I'm tired, but it is a nice view. You gotta come in the morning. You gotta come for the sunrise. I was gonna. We should have come for the sunrise. But there was actually no sunrise this morning um, when I woke up. Not, cloudy, it was it? yeah, way too cloudy. But look at this view, guys. Well, we decided to <laughs> Then you've got the beach. Look at the blues. Where? Oh my god, yeah. Just I want to be in that canoe right now. Duh. I was saying that. I was like, wanted to go for a morning swim and then I thought it was a bit weird there. We should go for a swim after this. We've yeah. got us between this. And there's loads of um, beaches, beaches around here. Yeah. I mean, we did have to pay 50 baht to come up here. Is it a rip off? It's a pound. Is it a pound? You pay a pound in England to see this. You wouldn't see it in England. <laughs> you would not see that in England <laughs> at all. We could go up here, but that looks like chaos. Yeah, I'm going up there. Oh, yeah. Go yeah. on then, Lil. We've got to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> ah. There you go. Right, okay. Watch. <laughs> I'm just terrified. We've got the windiest view ever. But it's a windy day, so we're not in Thailand. But look at that. Yeah, we're just vibing at this point. Drinking music, actually. Yeah, we should. Drinking our iced tea, looking at the view. Just giving vibes. This is um, our life now. It is. Just used to it at this point. Do you see how blue that sea is, though? That's insane. It looks like a backdrop. It really does. But we're not in a backdrop, guys. We're in Thailand. We're actually here, you know. You gone for me? I've gone for a vegan satay roll. <laughs> sounds lovely. It sounds amazing. And I've got a vegan roll. That's mushroom. Yeah. And yours is tofu. So yeah, we're gonna have this. Look at this view. Beautiful. We're now at dinner. We've got our very favourite. This is. Like. One of the best things that Thailand has to offer. <laughs> it's, so it's like happier salad with peanuts, tomato, green beans, and it's like honey sauce. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's spicy, but you can ask for it without spice. Yes. And we've had so many of these. We have one like every other day. I want to say. Also, I'm realizing the last time we vlogged was at lunch. We just vlog at meal times at the moment. Yeah, we just. <laughs> vlog when we get food. We'll bring you along on our night out anyway. We're gonna yeah, go for some yeah, drinks, drinks after this. Right, we're gonna eat our salad. <laughs> oh my god, it's such health and spice and veg. So what have you got? Penang. Penang. Oh yeah, you did get a penang. Rice. And then what have you got? I got, it's like a red, it's kind of like a red curry but it's a bit more stronger. Yeah. It's not got the coconut in. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a bit spicy that one, but yeah, excited. Guys, we have two perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect, perfect glasses oh, we of wine. Had one yet. We didn't have one, but look at that. <laughs> look how happy Lily is. This glass is the perfect shape, perfect size, thin rim. Wide bottom. <laughs> and it's just cold. And perfect. Just taste it now. Just smell it then. Smell it around. Nice. 
I think that's a serving on. So we didn't vlog last night, but we didn't really do much. Um, we just had a Burgess bar, like a chill bar, and then that was it really. And now we've got a smoothie bowl at our favourite place called Croissant and Co in um, Cotal. Hello again. Hi guys. So we're currently sat outside at the hotel and mm. we've got some food for lunch. We had smoothie bowls this morning. We yeah. shared that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we did. And so has got her leftovers from last night. Um, yeah, which is quite a lot actually yeah. when, I, when I look, literally look at it now. What is it? It's uh, um, it's like red curry and chicken and veg. Yeah. And then rice. And then I've got some spring rolls. And then I've got spring rolls and we've got some strawberry fantas. I'm really excited about this. When yeah. I saw it, I was like, I need to get it. Yeah, so. I'm gonna eat this now. These are actually so fresh because I literally watched them make it. Yeah. All the sauces in like a little bag. bag. Yeah. They're so cute. They like got it all set up and everything. And like I watched them make it and they're just, oh, they were adorable. I felt like their child in there. Yeah. I was just sat there chilling in this little cafe. They're vegetable, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. They're quite hot, be careful. Because they're freshly made. Mm. Nice. Amazing. Yeah. Hi guys. Oh, I look such a mess. Hi. Absolutely sweating. Um, so, we decided tonight that we'd meet our friends and go for a drink at this sunset. It's a secret bar. A secret bar at sunset. Um, and it's really, really high up. It's like a viewpoint. But we've walked to viewpoints that haven't been yeah, this high. But yeah. Um, <laughs> but we, we were started walking up and it was such hard work. And we were dying. And then this guy drew a pass that we've met since we've been out here. He saved us. And we're all good now. Yeah. So he's given us a lift up. <laughs> and we've missed the hill. Take us up. <laughs> but they've just had to walk up the hill. Give me a second. Dark things. <laughs> I'm a dark person. <laughs> we're just um, waiting for the sun to set now. God, I look so oh, good. Oh, it's just coming through. Oh, one second. And the water was really dirty going into the sea. And I just couldn't see the feet below. Uh, if you don't, can't see my feet, I don't like it. Hi, guys. So we've got friends of us tonight, Sam and Charlotte. And we've got, so what did you get? I got fried and sweet. <laughs> And then me and Charlotte got egg noodles, and then Sam is trying a masterman. Um, <laughs> He's got the chopstick, it's proper authentic. Amazing. Hi guys, we are. Oh. Christ, Lil. Knock over the whole store, why don't you? <laughs> no, it's my, it's my son. So, guys, let's want to show you a Thai 7 Eleven. Just, I just love the drink selection. We should probably get some more water, Lily. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, a crisp morning, so morning, everybody. Hi. So it is Monday, and we are on the way to the pier to go to Krabby. To Krabby, and then we stay in Krabby just one night because then we fly to Vietnam. So we're really excited. We've just booked our flight to Vietnam. We've been yeah. doing everything like one, two, a couple of days before because yeah. we just don't know our plan. We might want to stay longer in Krabi, but we know definitely we're just going to stay one night. People have said Anang's really, Anang was really nice, but we just thought we'll stay near the airport. We're going to go to the outlet and then we're going to just chill today, tonight. We're just ready to go to Vietnam, aren't we? Yeah, we're really excited now. I think I'm kind of prepared to like just explore Vietnam. It's a whole new country, new culture. Yeah, we've done so. the South of Thailand now. Like, yeah, we've done yeah. the beaches. We've, we've done, done the beach, yeah. I think I'm ready for some like wholesome, really like culture experience now. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see you guys. I'm a bit scared for the ferry, but I think we'll be fine. Don't deep it. The couple we're friends with on the way here, they had a really bad ferry journey, but the weather was terrible. The weather's all right now. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, so. Hi guys. <laughs> we're on the way to the pier. And so we show you our little, like, back of a truck. Um, <laughs> um, it's actually quite common in Thailand to get in the back of a 4x4. 
and they've got seats as well, like designated seats to sit in. So yeah. Hi guys. Um, so we've just had the ferry yeah, from yeah. hell. Yeah, from hell. Kotal to, where are we now? Kopanyang. Kopanyang. Oh my gosh, we have been warned about this ferry, um, but it was like so rocky, wasn't it? It was honestly. You actually look green. I do. I've oh. gone. I went under. It was so bad. We both were like so holding on to these, like dear life. It's like that. It's, it's honestly like that. <laughs> oh, and we were trying to. We were doing the deep breathing. We took an anti sickness tablet, but it just. It won't work in. Um, I already like I've been all right recently on all the ferries, and I was like, I'll be fine. Yeah. But no, it hit me today, and I had yeah. to go outside. It was bad. There were people throwing up and people going outside, and that's the point where I thought one of us is going to be sick, and unfortunately, it was me. But I felt so bad as well. Like it could have been if we'd gone on for much longer, I'd have been enjoying it. But it stopped. Hopefully, this next leg of the trip's not as bad. Fingers crossed. Hello everyone. <laughs> so we've had a hell of a day and we're finally at a pizza company restaurant in Crabbe. And we've never been to Crabbe to get pizza. Yeah, we've just ordered half the menu. We're so tired. Oh, it's been we've a lot. We've not eaten all day. I've been seasick. Yeah, so we're flying to Vietnam tomorrow. So we just needed somewhere to rest our heads like for the night. So I was like, so we're close to the airport and cheap. So we found this golf resort. And it's an, we're actually on the golf resort. It's a driving range. The driving range is like where this table is. Our room is here. And um, we didn't realize, and it's all golfers. Like we turned up and there's all these Thai people practicing golf. And they were like, what are you doing here? And we just looked like absolute dickheads in it with our backpacks. But we just needed somewhere to rest our heads. pizza has come guys and we've got a veggie spinach onion tomato pepper pizza with no chilies so excited to try this how cute is this little bubble tea place <laughs> ASMR <laughs> oh, I've got the oh I had a bubble tea in a minute it's just banging <laughs> Nice. Very nice. How do you describe bubble tea? People haven't had bubble tea. It's like tapioca. It's like a jello. It's like jasmine flavor. It's like it? a. Uh, it tastes like jasmine tapioca. I don't know. It's not what it's boiled in though. However, yeah, it's like a jello. A black jello. A little bowl. Yeah, and then this is brown sugar milk. <laughs> I've had a lot of dairy tonight. <laughs> I'm feeling it tomorrow and I've got a plane to catch. Room tour. So this is our door. This is Bee's bed. Hi. <laughs> this is a picture of a golf resort. A bit misleading as it's not the resort that we're in. However, <laughs> this one's in Mauritius. However, it's cute. We've got a, a golf green wall. My bed. Very spacious floor area, a desk, a TV, um, come over here, we've got a huge wardrobe, <laughs> um, and yeah, then, yeah, do you know what we've said, it's like one of the cleanest places Places we've stayed the entire stairs. time there's a lot of um, lizards here so there was one in the bathroom earlier but I think it's gone now um, but yeah there's a lot of lizards but we don't mind because it's very very clean so obviously bathroom shower um, yeah it's really nice it is literally on a golf resort when you go out the door um, oh there is one lizard up here that's not the best there can you even see it? it's a baby one um, it's a driving range. Look at 
like that. <laughs> well, I think what have you seen that? Yes, that's <laughs> someone's yeah. done that before. I don't know how you lock this door. You need to work that Same. out. There you go. Is that done it? Yeah. Okay. We're locked in now. We're locked in, and there's even a curtain, which we could draw. It just smells so clean, doesn't it? Yeah, like so many places we've stayed in have been all right, but not very clean. No. But this is like proper yes. clean. Lovely stuff. <laughs> Doing your inhalers. Yeah, I asked my mum why I love to have music. Yeah. So basically, because of the pollution, oh. um, it just clears your nose. And because it's so hot, this cools you down. Oh, right. Interesting. Yeah, that's why I have that. So that's our room. We're going to chill now and go to bed. And then we've got a flight tomorrow to Vietnam. Yeah, bye guys.